Rick Ross gives his opinion on who won the rap battle between Jay-Z and Nas. This is for you hip-hop players. I was on a cool podcast and I got that question. You know, who won out of Jay-Z and Nas? Well, when you're talking to Ricky Rose, ain't no who won out of Jay-Z and Nas when both is winning. When you both get money, ain't no winner. Not in this rap shit. Now, if it's LL Cool J against Cannabis. But when you come to Rose, just on some, who won out of? Just <laughs> living in the hills, man. And please, when it come to hip hop, as long as you spawn, as long as you create something out of nothing, you won. You could be a nigga that you got a, a one bedroom condo, and you comfortable. You live and you won. Went sold 40 million records as long as you happy, whatever you did, whatever you created, you won. This hip hop, it ain't no better than nobody else. Nah, as long as you happy, if you happy with the pumas with the fat laces, ain't no I'll dress you. You could have had on some tight corduroys and a white t shirt in '84 cut off right up under your. And if you was fly, you was fly. That's what hip hop was about. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, so this is from Reese's Pieces from Atlanta. She asked, Rose, did you ever find your stewardess on your jet? Well, no, I haven't. I'm still searching for my stewardess for my jet. I have flew with different stewardess over the last month, month and a half, whenever I made the initial post. But have I made a definitive answer? I don't know if that was right, but y'all will let me know. No, I'm still looking. This question from Sebastian in Winnipeg. Question is, who was I most surprised by that knew me for my music? Well, I'm gonna say Robert Kraft. And Robert Kraft, because when I met him for the very first time, he actually pulled his phone out, had Rick Ross playlist, and he said his girlfriend refused to work out without Rose. Next question. Deja from Queens want to know what's the one dish she would have to know to satisfy the boss. Well, my apologies, Deja, because I'm the biggest boss. Of course, you're going to have to be swift with the door dash, but you got to be hands on. When I wake up, I love a little toast with a little egg. Look. Lunchtime, you know what I mean? It's a vibe. You got to be talented. Are you talented? Yes or no? His next question comes from Decepticon. He say, call him Septicon from the BX. He wants to know, will I allow DJ Envy to attend this year's car show, June 1st? Septicon, I will give DJ Envy 50% off general admission. <laughs> so this next question comes from Bethany in Des Moines, Iowa. I don't believe I've ever been there. But Bethany question was Rick Ross. Have you ever dated or a Caucasian or Hispanic woman? Well, Bethany... Yes, I have. As a matter of fact, I'm ambidextrous at the same time. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to Nine Mag TV.